Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here, and in this video I am going to be playing some PvP again on my Zeller. Last video I had just switched to Zeller, and now I have not done very much practicing since then. I believe this is a little bit higher than the rating that I placed at. I've been trying some 1v1s trying to learn the class, and I will say that it's more difficult than I thought it would be. It's... I don't want to get stuck falling into, uh routes of playstyles like playing only AP reduction or only spontaneous return. I want to be able to be a well-rounded player and to do that is going to take a lot of time. So let's see how I do today. Hopefully I am much better than the last video which was atrocious and I'll cut back when I get my first fight. Alright we just got our first fight. It is against a SRAM. That is not fun. Who likes playing against SRAMs though? So let's see, as a mm, I want to unbewitch them, so I think that either means I go intel or strength. I'm going to try intel, ranged intelligence, just because I believe it has more initiative. And then temporal op shield might be helpful. I'm trying to play some different variants, rollback or temporal instability. I am going to take rollback. Mummification, Time Rift, Temporal Paradox, I've never played with that, so I'm going to take Time Rift, and hopefully I have more initiative than they do. Alright, so I'm playing Ranged Intelligence, that's what I need to remember. I've been playing a lot of melee intelligence, so i got to keep in mind that I'm ranged. So Buhu Radu, so their agility. So I wonder if I should just straight hit them, turn one, since they're going to go invisible. I think probably yes. Oh, I forgot to take teleport. I think I meant I should have done that. That's okay though. I'll do haziness and then move backwards, I suppose. I don't think I'm going to need that haziness AP since they're most likely going to go invisible. I'm probably going to put a double right there. I shouldn't have given them that spot. I can always spontaneous return it though. Did they think that they're invisible? Or I guess they just didn't see the line of sight was diagonal. Okay, epidemic, no invisibility. So if they do go there, I can pendulum and have line of sight with a spontaneous return. But I don't think I want to do that. Actually, you know what? I think I do want to do that. Because I get a close combat any stack out of it. So what I'm going to do here is block the double from getting me, and then I'm going to do this. Oh, that was dumb. I put Epidemic back on myself. I realized that right, that's why I didn't click Premonition. I realized right as that happened that I had renewed Epidemic by ending two cells from a summon. Well, I did decent damage and got an ebony on them before they went invisible. So they have 9 MP from 2 off there, 1, yeah, they're using it one by one. So I'm not even going to try and find them. I'm just going to focus on buffing myself and my synchro. So let's see, what's a telefrag that I haven't done yet? I think I can do this. And then this for a new telefrag. Yup. That's nice. And then water clock here. And now I'll just run. Maybe I shouldn't have gone here because there's only two cells. So with the repelling, they hit me no matter what. But I'm probably going to use time rift. 5 MP, they're probably there. Yep. 5 MP from 4 cells to my right, I suppose. Misconstrual. Oh. That's interesting. I guess they really want the double to explode on me. Misconstrual made them visible. Didn't know that that's how that would work. That was a bad play by them. So let's see. I'm going to do time rift. Rewind. 
here, hand, dazing grenade. I don't believe Ebony will be applied. Nope, it won't be. Spontaneous return so that I can use this. Now here. And I will use sand glass. Didn't take any of their AP, but that's fine. And they died to Ebony. Nice. So they chose a weird turn to go visible because they didn't do any damage to me and they're double exploded on my ivory. So not the best by them. Maybe they didn't think I had time rift, but nice. Let's go on to the next fight. All right, we got another fight. We're against the Hupper Mage this time. So Hupper Mage is a class that I know well. I think I might try melee intelligence with initiative for this fight. And let's see. Temporal Op Shield will annoy them because a lot of Hubber Mage spells are linear or close combat. What else do I want? Might try Temporal Instability just for fun because I haven't played much with that. I don't know what that does. Time Rift or Temporal Paradox? I've never played with Temporal Paradox. Oh, I want to try TP. I've never played with TP either, which is a little bit sad. Sparkling silver, okay. So let's see, I am going to... Place this here. Here, oh I don't have... Hmm. Don't quite know what I'm doing. Yeah, not sure. I didn't get any ebony stacks. Oh, I have a water clock. Strange. All right, so well, let's see what build they are. They might be a non-crit strength build, judging by their neutral res. Hmm. But usually strength has more agi res than that. They're wearing a Turk? Nope. Or maybe they just haven't critted. Crit. Okay, so let's see. I'm a close combat set. Will I get locked? Yes, shoot. I just wanted the melee stack, which is why I hit their guardian. Did decent damage as well. I think I'm wearing a cloudy in this set. I am, yep, cloudy. So, next turn is a turn that I really want to do well on. Hey, Pierre's online. This is a person who commented on my last video and gave me some tips and tricks for Zeller. Okay, so let's see, that'll get my teleport back up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I stand here, I can swap my Kawit. But then, then what? Oh, okay, so that changed. Hmm. Oh, I've got time rift. I think I'm gonna do this. And then, no, that was a bad idea. All right, well, I had an idea in my head, but um, I figured out after I had already made a mistake that my idea wasn't a good one but that's okay we still did decent damage i don't think that was necessarily an awful turn i just could have played it better the mistake that i made was i wanted to go back and then end up running cool they do a lot of damage <laughs> but time rift doesn't bring me back until i pass my turn okay so let's see i'm in close combat So I think the best move here, oh I like, hmm. It's weird playing without spontaneous return or rollback when I have been playing with both of those previously. 
I think I win right here though. They do have sparkling silver. Oh, I need to crit. Oh, no way. 70%. I'm gonna say you win so that they know that I know that they've got sparkling silver. It's a mental game here. Can't let them have the last laugh. So 67% crit and it didn't crit. Unfortunate. Cloudy downturn. Maybe the smartest thing would have been to run. I think I'm playing Zeller like an IOP right now, which is definitely not how I'm supposed to be playing it. Can they... Let's see, their cat's eye axe. Oh, they're not even going to use it. Arcane Torrent, maybe? Oh no, they already used it. Wait. What? Do I not lose? I might not lose. Woo! Nice! Cool. Well, we won two fights in a row. And I was playing with variants that I'm not used to. Spontaneous Return and Rollback are like staples in the Zeller gameplay that I learned. Like in the past few days when I've been practicing, I've been using those spells. So playing without either of them, it feels really strange. So I'm glad that I was able to win without either of those spells because it's a step towards being able to expand my knowledge. So let's see if we can win three fights in a row. All right, we got another fight here. We are against a Zeller this time. So versus Zeller, I wonder if it's best to go AP reduction or maybe intelligence. Hmm. Um. I think I'll try AP reduction. And let's see what variants I need. Rewind's kind of useless. I don't know what reflect does though. Sure, we'll take reflect. Okay. Time Rift sounds fun. I don't really have time to switch anything else. Alright. So they have quite a lot of AP resist. No ivory though. This is for you. So I'm going to do this. Premonition. Here, rollback. Spontaneous return. And then get two ebony stacks. Alright, so I gotta read up on the spell because I've never even seen it. Linear teleports, immediately teleports them to the start cell. Okay. Alright, so they're getting rid of. Oh, they're intel. Those things away. Sorry for the lack of speaking. I have no idea what I'm doing currently. All right, so I took their needle damage from ending next to them. They still have 12 AP, did I miss? No, I did minus five. So they must have done haziness and the premonition buff. Wow, I'm getting destroyed. Yikes. This is for you. Uh, um What do I even do to that? Yikes. Maybe AP reduction's not the way to go. He's not even wearing ivory and he's obliterating me. Do I die right now? No. I don't speak your language. Sorry.
Alright, so I'm in a ranged damage shield, but I don't really have a choice but to hit in melee. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He's got 900 HP left, but I'm totally dead. Right? Yeah, at me. He's probably BMing me in French. Alright, so AP reduction, maybe not the best in Zeller vs. Zeller. Or maybe I just played it dumb because I let him hit me turn one. But rewind would be useless, so I think it. I think it's just a damage off, maybe. At least in that case, it would have been. So first loss makes sense. It was versus Eller. I'm not very good at my class, and let's see if we can win another. All right, we got another fight. We're against a Sacrier this time. Sacrier, I believe I should go AP reduction. Whereas I think it was a mistake for Zeller. So should I go counter or temporal op shield? I think I'll stick with counter. But is it more annoying to play Temporal Op Shield? I think Temporal Op Shield is more annoying the more actions they have. And with AP reduction, I don't think they're going to have that many actions. So I think this is an Umbi, which is why I'm taking it. Um, spontaneous Return I want for AP reduction. Yeah, that looks okay to me. So they go first, they've got a shiny protect, 52 AP res, 18% res, and a water dial. Or is that a tash ring? That's a tash ring. Okay. So their strength. It really stinks that they went first. It's not good for me. So they're in a white tabby baumia or whatever that's called. Little white baumia, which is AP resist. So they guessed my playstyle correctly. They're probably used to Zellers playing AP reduction versus them, which maybe means I'm doing something right. Maybe I am supposed to play AP reduction. Hmm. Temporal op shield would prevent things like light speed though, which would be nice. Okay, I don't know if that's the best turn, but I got a stack of perfidication. How do you say this? Petrification. I got them away from me. I put ebony. So I think it was okay. Um, I don't know how long their range is for. Oh, are they gonna make this unmovable? themselves unmovable and mutilation oh and a lot of different stuff okay so I can bring the KO back like that so that's how I'll get out of here so I gotta save some AP 3 AP left I think that was okay. I didn't fully AP reduce them, but that's because I don't think that they can get to me. Um, so I just went for more damage because I don't really mind if they have AP this turn. So they're not going to be in the Telefrag state anymore, so I can bring the KWIT back again, which is nice. 
So I'm gonna put them in the telefrag state like this. I'll use slow down first because that's minus one. And now, should I put them this way? Yeah, I think I should. And then here's minus two, bring the KO back. Minus three, I forgot to do premonition correctly, but I should have put premonition on the KO again. Um, so a friend of mine, Pierre, commented on my first Zeller video and offered to teach me some tips and tricks. And he taught me that slow down can actually reduce three AP if you do one when they're not in telefrag and one when they are in telefrag state. So I have rewind again. So I think I'll do that. And I'll do this just because it's not very much AP. And then I get, how much AP is this? Three? So I'll do this. And then I'll block him back in and I'll be back here. And he is almost dead and I have not lost HP. This feels good. I don't think he's playing it as well as he could be and as well as a lot of Sakers would be. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. It was the same word though, so it doesn't count. But it feels good to play Zeller somewhat like it's supposed to be played, I think. So mutilation, 1200 shield, and he stays put. Shoot, I messed up. No, I didn't. I think. Nice, that was good. And I got a synchro buff. So I thought that I didn't have enough AP to do another petrification and time rift, but spontaneous return gave me the AP and then I flip flopped a couple times. So now this turn, I don't think I can get back over here safely. Maybe I can just kill him though. Hmm. How could I detonate this synchro? Don't think I can. So what I'm gonna do is just do that. I probably could have killed him had I gone back. I definitely could have, but he wasn't in the telefrag state. Although petrification still, wow, I've never seen that spell. Um, petrification remains three AP for both casts because I used it twice last turn. So I think I should have gone over there. Is he gonna sacrifice it now? So I don't think he locks me. No, he doesn't. So I'll pendulum this, but first I will de-lock his ivory. Petrification, now I'll pendulum. And he's got 130 HP left, so I will use cog. Nice, we won. That felt good. I don't think I took damage the entire fight long, even when he got next to me. So that was nice. I didn't necessarily have to play AP reduction for that playstyle because I kept him away using disruption. But I want to go for one more win before ending the video. All right, we got another fight here. We are against a Craw this time. So I don't know what is best to play versus Craw. Definitely teleport. Should I try agility? Now I'm gonna play close combat intelligence again. Take an initiative pet. It's like temporal op shield, teleport. Rollback actually sounds kind of good. Um, yeah.
Yeah, I think that's good. Let's say salute back. Salute. Oh, wow, they got lots of initiative. We both have Cloudy. That's fun. It actually stinks, though, because he went first. And Cloudy is much stronger if you start first, in my opinion. And he's going to use Crushing Arrow on me turn two. So I'm going to be out of position for turn three. Um, I think I'll try something like this. So he's probably going to beacon here and pull me, is my guess. Or if he went here, he could pull me to here by using concentration on this, but it looks like he doesn't want to do that. That would put him kind of out of position. He's definitely going to use crushing arrow on me though, which is going to leave my... I don't know. Yeah, there it is. So he actually should have waited to do that turn three. Let's see, do I have slow down? Yeah, but it doesn't have the range. I just want to place my ebony on him. Premonition. Ooh. Oh, that's in gravity too. I can't even kill it. Shoot. That was really bad by me. I meant to end out of sight of him, but I lined up with his tactical beacon. And I, then I thought I'll just flip it, but I, it was in gravity state. Hmm. And he took three MP, wow. And another one. What am I supposed to do right now? I don't think I have a choice but to do this. Which really stinks because that was my turn three. I messed up hugely by ending in line with that thing. He's on a downturn though. Oh, I die. Shoot. I could have won that too. I was too focused on placing my ebony and didn't look at my positioning. Alright, well, I feel like I did improve on Zeller, and my first video was atrocious. This one was pretty bad too, in terms of skill. But if you guys do know Zeller better than I do, which if you've played at all, you probably do, and you have suggestions for me, I would love to hear your suggestions in the comment, whether it's playstyle differences or spell variants or items or things like that. Like I went AP reduction versus a fellow Zeller. Am I not supposed to do that? <laughs> if you know those answers, I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below. This has been Ability, and I will catch you guys next time.